Hello, it's Dips from DipsDesigns.com here and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this large statement framed lattice card. This card is the most popular one on my blog so I thought I'd film a video showing you how to make it. Although the finished card is large, at just shy of A4 in size, I've made it using the Tonic Studios boudoir base and square layering dies which are both under 15 centimeters or 6 inches in size. So this tutorial is really about how to use your die, small dies to create a larger card for the times when a really special card is required. The dies I've used in this card are the Tonic Studios Indulgent Boudoir Square Base and as you can see the outer cutting edge on this die is separate from the main lattice die. I'm also going to use the largest and third largest dies from the Tonic Square Layering Die Set plus their Scallop Circle Layering Dies. I'm going to create some embellishments using butterfly dies, a sentiment die, their verdant vines flourish dies, and a tiny little die from the delicate lattice ovals die set. Next, the cardstock. For the lattice frame layer, I use pink pearlescent, and this layer is cut to 17 centimeters by 24 centimeters. Then to cut the frame and the sentiment I used a square of opal star dream card that's 15 centimetres by 15. To create the mats and layers, my first layer beneath the lattice frame is also in opal star dream and measures 18.4 centimetres by 25.4 centimetres. I've used a piercing ruler to prick a decorative border around the edge. My final mat is pink pearlescent cut to 19cm by 26cm. Finally for my card base I took an A4 card blank in opal star dream and then trimmed it to size for my final mat so I trimmed it to 20cm by 27 After cutting all of these layers I also had some off cuts and I'll be using these to die cut my embellishments. So to create the lattice layer Here's my top pink card layer and I'm using the inner boudoir base lattice die without the outer cutting edge. Place this centrally towards the top of the card creating an even border around the die and use low tack tape to keep it in place before, before passing it through the grand calibre using the standard cutting sandwich. You may find that you need more than one pass through the machine. You can see mine hasn't cut all the way through at the first pass. You won't be able to turn the card after the first pass, but you can slide it over to the opposite edge of the cutting mat. You can see that mine has cut through perfectly after this second pass. Then I use my embossing mat to emboss the die. Remove the waste, then carefully peel off the tape and lift off the die and set to one side. Next I'm going to create the frame. You can make this as wide or as narrow as you like. I'm creating a fairly narrow frame, so I first chose a square layering die that is larger than the outer edge of my lattice, and then I've chosen the layering die that is two sizes smaller to this. Align them centrally on the square of Opal Star Dream and tape it into place, then die cut and emboss. Remove from the die and set the frame aside. You can now use the waste to die cut a scalloped circle mat. So I've chosen a scalloped circle die that fits within the circular centre of my boudoir base but is larger than my sentiment but you'll choose the size that's most suitable for your project. I'm also cutting out my sentiment from an off cut of the pink pearl. To speed things along I won't show you the cutting of the other bits and bobs from the off cuts. So let's get the assembly stage. 
You'll see that I've wrapped a piece of floral ribbon around the bottom third of my lattice layer and added a knot of ribbon. I've also embellished the lattice element with flat back pearls and I've added some narrow 3D foam tape to the back of the die cut frame. Now to make the frame easier to reposition, once I removed the backing paper off the 3D foam tape, I ran a little bit of glue stick along the tape. This help gives me a little playtime if I need to reposition the frame when I place it over the lattice. This time I was able to position it on first go, but other times I've needed to fiddle a bit to get it central. Next I'm adding my scallop circle, which I've also used 3D foam to give it dimension. As you can see for this card, I've backed my sentiment with an off cut of opal cardstock to make the message pop, but for a larger sentiment you wouldn't need to do this. This is also raised on 3D foam and on it goes. Now for some quick matting and layering from the pieces I cut earlier. So we have the Opal Star Dream card base and this is layered with a pink pearl mat. I'm just going to double check which way the card opens so I don't layer it upside down. And then next goes on the pierced edge opal mat. I use double sided tape on the back of my mats but for the top lattice layer I want to create more dimension. So I've used 3D foam tape around the edges and also underneath the centre sections to prevent the card from dipping in the middle. Let's move on to the finishing touches. I die cut two butterflies, one in opal and one in pink. The opal layer is going to be the base, so I'll just trim off the antennae. Then I add a bit of glue to the centre of the back of the pink die cut and layer the two together. And you can see that I've decorated it with a line of flat back pearls and some touches of glitter. Now to make the flower. I die cut four motifs from the smallest die from the delicate lattice oval die set. Sometimes it can be hard to know how to use these smaller dies. But if you layer them together then they can make a lovely embellishment. And the symmetrical design of these motifs makes it really easier to layer them up. I glued two together to create the base. Then I shape the remaining two layers to create dimension before adding them. I added a little glitter and a flat back pearl to decorate the flower. I also highlighted the flourishes with a little glitter too. To finish the card, I grouped these together in the bottom corner of the frame, just informally, and I didn't have to worry about the glue showing as the flower layer is going to hide it. I popped the butterfly in the opposite top corner. Placing the embellishments like this helps create flow to the card. Finally, I tucked in two handmade decorative hat pins. Watch out for my quick how-to video showing you just how easy it is to make these. So here's the finished card from this tutorial. If you've enjoyed it, please do give a thumbs up and please subscribe. You can also find a list of all the dies that I used in this card in the description box below. Thank you and bye for now.